In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for NH4Br plus LiOH. This is ammonium bromide plus lithium hydroxide. So the first thing we do with net ionic equations, we balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation, and it's already balanced. So that's kind of nice. Then we can write the state for each substance. That'll look like this. If you know your solubility rules, compounds with the ammonium ion, they're very soluble. Compounds with lithium in general, they're very soluble. So all of these will be aqueous. They'll dissolve, dissociate into their ions. Ammonia right here, we're going to say that it's a gas here. We could say that it was aqueous. It will dissolve in water. But even if it's aqueous, that really won't change things much in our net ionic equation. Water, that's a liquid. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into ions. That gives us the complete ionic equation. That looks like this. So this is the complete ionic equation for NH4Br plus LiOH. Now we can cross out the spectator ions. They're on both sides. So in the reactants, I see I have the bromide ion right here. Again, in the products, we can cross that out. That's a spectator ion. We also have the lithium ion right here in the reactants. And in the products, we can cross that out too. And what's left is the net ionic equation or NH4Br plus LiOH. I'll clean this up, write the states, we'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for ammonium bromide plus lithium hydroxide. You'll note charge is balanced. We have a plus and a minus. That gives us a net charge of zero. Over here, neutral compound, net charge of zero. If you count the atoms, they're balanced as well. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.